apply for immigration policy has changed to the extent where it may not be possible for you to apply for direct migration so two of the most important criteria to be met that you need to have either a job in uh, new zealand or a skilled employment in new zealand or a job offer in new zealand that is condition one condition two that you should have studied in new zealand for at least two years uh, and done a master's or a phd so these two conditions are essential to get uh, residency in new zealand and because you are not in New Zealand, you do not have a job in New Zealand, nor do you have a two years uh, study in New Zealand, you can work, try and apply. And if you get 160 points, then there is a possibility uh, you could uh, apply for something called the skilled migrant get three job search visa. So they will not give the resident visa directly, but instead they'll give you uh, a job search visa, which will basically allow you to come into the country and look for a job based on your past experience. And if you find a job, then you fulfill that condition where you are then in employment in New Zealand. So it has become a little, uh, it's not straight any longer. It is, you know, a little convoluted at the moment. So there is very little chance of getting a direct migration. So